Ian Murray. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And may I take this opportunity of wishing you and all the staff of the House a happy new year, and to the Secretary of State and his office as well. Uh, Mr. Speaker, you would have thought that the pantomime season was over, but by, judging by today's questions, it clearly isn't. There is no shortage of things that we could be. Oh yes, it certainly is. I was expecting that, Mr. Speaker. I was expecting that by someone who's got no jokes whatsoever. There's no shortage of things that we could be questioning the government on, but the Secretary of State has created this sham by keeping the fiscal framework secret. What is really ludicrous is that the SNP Finance Secretary, who is negotiating the very fiscal framework we're discussing, they could ask him about what's in it. But what is clear is the people who've Scotland who are being kept in the dark. So will the Secretary of State, and I've asked him this before, put an end to this pantomime of manufactured grievance and be completely transparent about the fiscal framework. Mr Speaker, the Government is uh, completely transparent about its position in relation to the fiscal framework. We want it agreed as soon as possible. We want it to be uh, scrutinised by uh, both parliaments. When I was in the Scottish Parliament recently, I had the opportunity to meet with Bruce Crawford, the convener of uh, the Devolution Further Powers Committee, and he uh, assured me that he is satisfied that, in conjunction with the Finance Committee in the Scottish Parliament, there will be adequate opportunity to scrutinise uh, the fiscal framework. I'm clear that there will be an opportunity in the other place to scrutinise it, and the Scottish Affairs Select Committee are currently uh, conducting an inquiry. So I don't think the people of Scotland will be in, in, in the dark in any way about the fiscal framework, and I think that it will uh, achieve uh, what, it, uh, what we want it to achieve, but it will also be subject to proper scrutiny. Yeah. Ian Murray. Well, I don't think the Secretary of State understands the process here and how important this is. The Scotland Bill constitutes the biggest transfer of powers to Scotland ever, but the underpinning financial provisions are being hidden from the Scottish people. I have written to both governments, Mr Speaker, along with questions in both parliaments to try and get transparency, and the response from both governments has been no. Meanwhile, the Scottish Government are threatening to veto the Bill. The danger is, whilst these negotiations are being conducted in secret, both governments can blame each other with manufacturing grievance and it's the people of Scotland that will lose out. So can the Secretary of State at least assure us that in the future negotiations as important as this in Scotland's finances are conducted with greater transparency and with democratic scrutiny?